In this video, I want to talk about the most commonly asked questions that come up in AutoZone interviews and help you plan great answers to these that will help you get the job. So let's look at a question that is extremely important, which is what times can you work at AutoZone? And they're asking this question because they're really interested in the answer. So let's look at how you actually answer it successfully. So the first thing you want to do is say yes as much as possible. If they ask about certain times, remember they are asking for a reason. So you could say no, but remember if you do say no to any times they ask about, it's gonna reduce your chance of getting the job because they've asked because they're interested in those times. The next thing you want to do is keep an open mind so be open to working a wide variety of times and that will help you get the job. You want to be flexible. They would rather hire someone that's got flexibility than someone that has a very, very fixed idea of what times that they are able to work. And the next thing you want to do is actually say what AutoZone wants to hear. Of course, you have to be available at those times, but you want to think about what they actually would like in the answer to this to maximize your chance of getting the job. So some good answers, and you can pick from these whichever matches your particular needs and your availability. You could say, I can work the full range of store opening hours if you're applying for a store-based role, and you could work literally any time. That is really the perfect answer. You could say, I'm happy to work a mixture of day, evening, weekday, or weekend hours if you've got lots and lots of flexibility, and that's just covering all of the possible questions that could come up after this. You could say, I can work around business needs, or you could say, if you're slightly more restricted on your availability, I can work all the hours on the job advert if they've actually stated specific hours on their advertisement, and you're saying, I can do those, and that's a good way to answer it. A really bad way to answer this question is to say, I can't work this time, this time, and this time, but I can work all other times. That's not the way to do it. It's very negative. You want to focus on what you can do rather than going straight in with all the times that you prefer not to work. And that's how you can be successful in this question. So pick from this and you'll be ready for this question. The next one you really have to prepare for is what do you know about AutoZone? If you go to an interview and you don't have much knowledge about the company, it's going to hurt you. So in this section, I'm going to give you everything you need to be well prepared for your interview and show you how to answer this question. So fundamentally, when you're answering it, you start with the basics. Show them that you know the obvious things about AutoZone. Then show that you've actually bothered to prepare. Remember, if you turn up to the interview very well prepared, you're going to look like a good hire because they'd rather hire people that put in the time and effort like you have by watching this video. The next thing you want to do is actually be impressive. Drop in a few facts that only people that really did some good preparation would actually know. And the good news for you is I've prepared all of this and all of the facts are going to be collected together here and you can take that to your interview. So the first thing you do is you describe them as an aftermarket retailer. They're not selling cars. They're selling things to people who have cars and need to fix or improve them. They specialize in selling auto parts and accessories. So that's how you describe their main product lines. They are an industry leader and have a very strong reputation in this market. They provide a very personal service, so you could just go onto the internet and order these parts and get them delivered. But the problem is you're not getting that personal service. You're not getting to speak to someone who knows what they're doing and help you navigate and select the correct parts. So that's what sets them apart from some of the competition. They carry a very, very large inventory, so you can pretty much get any part that you need from the company. You may turn up to a small store, they have the most common parts, the things that people order most often. But if you go there and they haven't got that part in that particular store, they're able to source it from their enormous network. And that delivers great customer service and can get the parts to customers quickly. They have their own brand. So they've got things like Duralast, which is their main private label brand. They were founded in Forest City, Arkansas in 1979 by Pitt Hyde, who was the original founder. The company was originally called Auto Shack, but an interesting fact that you can take to your interview is that they were actually sued by Radio Shack, who demanded that they change their name, and so the company changed the name to AutoZone, though Radio Shack ended up going bankrupt, so didn't win them very much. They are also highly involved in sports sponsorship. So you might want to know what teams and what sports they're currently sponsoring and be able to talk about that. And they have expanded internationally. So they're not just in the US, they have stores more widely. Another top tip to be really well prepared is I'd recommend you read an AutoZone annual report. I don't mean read it every single word, just flick through it, read the start of it, get a feeling for the business, and then that will really help you understand how the company actually works. And in your interview, say that you've read that to show that you prepared well. Feel free to screenshot this or take any notes that you need 
and take these facts to your interview and that will really help to impress them. The next question that you really want to be prepared for is what would you do if you didn't know the answer to a customer's question? And of course, for this question, you could say, oh, I would just ask someone else or I would look it up. Well, they're not very impressive answers. Let's actually plan something that's impressive and shows that you've got the right values and you're going to be a good employee. So the first thing you always do straight away is you say, I take pride in building my knowledge and would like to minimize the time that this happens. So you want to be very clear on the fact that you've either got good knowledge or you're going to build really good knowledge so that customers, when they come to you with a question, you're going to get it right. And if you didn't know the answer, you're going to learn what that is so that you can be the person that has all the answers. That's your goal. So be clear on that. The next thing you say is that it's very important not to give the wrong answer. So you acknowledge that there is a risk that if you say to the customer, you should order this part, they order it and it's the wrong part. Well, you're going to have to process a refund. It's going to cost the company money and it's going to annoy the customer. So it's very important that answers to questions are accurate. And that's a good thing to say in your interview because they want to see that you actually care about being right. The next thing you say is that I take all questions from customers seriously and will always work to get them a good answer. So you're very clear on the fact that Yes, you don't know the answer, but you're going to find out and the customer needs to know the answer. And then and only then do you go in with the standard answer, which is that you would seek assistance from a more experienced colleague to ensure that the customer gets the answer that they need. So ultimately, you're getting the customer the answer and you're being very clear on the fact that you want to get the answer and that you care about knowing the answer. And this shows the right values. And it gives a really, really strong answer. So prepare this one. And if it's asked, this is how you go in and have a more impressive answer than many people give. The next one, which if you get asked it is obviously quite a good sign, but they may ask everyone. And I've heard it asked several times is when could you start? It's not saying you've got the job. It's just they might be worrying about when you would actually be available. And they may be curious about that. So there is really two answers that you could give. If you could start straight away, you would say, I'd be available to start at your earliest convenience. If you already have a job and you're looking to move, then you might have to say something like, I can start immediately after completing my contractual notice period, which is, and then say how long you'd have to work after you handed in your notice with your previous employer so they know exactly when you can start. And just choose the one that matches your personal circumstances, and that's how you answer that question well. The next one you want to definitely be prepared for, and it's very important to have a good answer to, is why do you want to work at AutoZone? And I can't tell you why you want to work there, but what I can do is tell you some things that you could say that actually look quite good in an interview. So one thing you might say is that you've got lots of customer service experience. So if you're applying for a customer service role, talk about your previous experience and how you've been successful. If you're applying for a driving role, talk about success in driving for other companies and that this is something that you enjoy doing, for example. If you've got an interest in cars, definitely say that. If you're not wildly interested in cars, say you have an interest in cars anyway, because you maybe have a slight interest, though don't say you're knowledgeable unless you are. Um, then you could say something about AutoZone provides a personal service and that that is setting them apart from the competition and you enjoy providing a good personal service to customers. You could say that they have a great training program and that you're excited about the prospect of learning more about cars and really getting to know all of the auto parts market and how all the parts work. You could say that you love working in retail and you could link that to your previous experience of jobs in retail. You could say that you're looking forward to having very busy and varied work. You could talk about this as a long-term career if that's how you see it. You may want to look up um, rankings. So there is like Forbes magazine and Fortune magazine have the top 100 companies to work for and those sort of things. AutoZone has in the past featured on those lists. So check if they're on the current lists and you could reference that as one reason. You could say that you really enjoy helping people and that is something that you would be able to do as someone that works at AutoZone, helping people find the right parts. And you could, if you do have good knowledge or previous experience working with cars, you could say that you're very knowledgeable about them. And that's also showing off your skills. So what I would do is pick four or five of these, talk about these as your motivation, and you'll be well prepared for this question. 
The next one is, can you tell me about your previous experience? Unfortunately, in many cases, people in interviews waste this opportunity. This is your chance to basically convince them that you've got the skills and experience to do this job well. So prepare a good answer to this question. It's so likely to come up, so it's worth investing a little bit of time thinking about what you're going to say and actually showing off the skills. So let's think about what they're actually looking for in this question. They want to see that you've got the right skills, you've got some experience, and that you could pick up the job quickly. Then they want to see that there's nothing concerning. They may ask other follow-up questions about your previous jobs, and they're basically trying to dig and see if they can find anything that's not very good. So you have to be ready for questions about that. And basically, if you've got the skills, you've got some experience, and there's nothing concerning, then you look like a good hire. Your job here is to convince them that you are a good hire. So you start when you're telling them about any job by giving your full job titles. Don't just give them a short form, give them your actual official title. Then what you do is you explain exactly what you did and what you learned in that job. So it's not just say what the job was, but actually explain what skills you gained there. For example, even if you worked in, say, a restaurant many, many years ago, you gained customer service skills, you dealt with customer complaints, you managed customers' expectations, you did all those sort of things, you collaborated, you were involved in teamwork with the different parts of the restaurant. You can really talk about lots of skills from basically any job because you are always learning things. Then you want to focus most on customer service and automotive. So any jobs that were working with cars or automotive related things is going to be your number one thing to go in. So you don't have to give your jobs in order. You can give them in order of relevancy. Then any time that you've worked with customers or if you're applying for a driving role, talk about all your driving experience. You could then make sure that you've prepared a reason for leaving your last job. So they could say, why are you leaving your current job or why did you leave your previous job and you want to have a good reason ready. So don't say anything negative about your former employer. Don't attack any previous managers. Focus on the positives of this new role and have a good explanation as to why you're moving to this company from your previous job. And that's going to help you get through that question. You want to have a quick, confident answer to that. And then always link any experience back to AutoZone. When you explain, I used to work in this company and I learned these things, which means that working at AutoZone, I'll be able to do this job better because. And explain always why your previous experience is going to make you a great hire. And really, my top tip for success is to be confident. Be confident that you've got the experience and you could do the job and really convince them that you can do the job. That you're basically saying, I've done similar things, I've got customer service experience, I've got experience that is gonna help me be good at this job, and I'm just transferring it to your company, and that's gonna help you get the job. Before we finish, here are some questions that you may want to ask after your interview, and you definitely need to have questions ready, because they'll say, do you have any questions? If you say no, that's not a good look. So you could start by asking, I'm very interested in this job with AutoZone. I'm therefore interested to know these next steps in your hiring process, because you probably do want to know those and you're reiterating your interest in the job. You could say, is there anything that you would suggest that I do now to be well prepared for starting if successful? And they may suggest you read some things or you might suggest that you learn about particular things that's going to help you be more useful when starting you can make a commitment to doing that and show that you care about being prepared you could say could you tell me more about the team you have built here and how my role fits in so you can learn more about what job they're offering potentially and you can show a lot of interest in the people you're working with and in understanding your job and you can be really enthusiastic you could say what would you say are the characteristics and attributes of highly successful AutoZone employees and they could tell you what sort of things they're looking for and you can match that to your skills and then lastly make sure you thank the interviewer for their time and have a positive happy ending to the interview don't ever ask about pay don't ask about time off and don't um, ask about delaying your start date these things are going to be very negative and they could cost you the job also don't ask about transferring to another location now is not the time to discuss transfers when you're actually trying to get a job so avoid those ask a few of the questions on this list and you'll have a great end to your interview. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I wish you the best of luck in your AutoZone interview and hope you get the job. Please like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.